you experienced racism, why didn't you walk away? That's a really good question. You're a politician. Not, you read I'm the not polls. a politician. I don't read the polls. Yeah, I sit in Judiciary Committee. No, you are, you are I do, very I definitely a politician. No, no, no. The very fact that there were not people I'm who getting, looked like you... The, in, hold on. I'm only halfway through my answer. Is secret schooling happening across Afghanistan for girls? It does. You simply actually, can't assume that. Actually, yes, you can. Hard talk. Watch on BBC iPlayer. Be prepared this bank holiday. Whatever the weather. Check on the BBC Weather app. Tensions rise again between Beijing and Taipei, potentially spooking investors in the region or we'll have the latest. And as the Easter weekend wraps up, a special look into how staff shortages are still hitting the tourism sector. Hello and welcome to Asia Business Report. I'm Karishma Viswani. Our top story for you today. Investors around the world are waking up to news of an escalation in tensions between China and Taiwan. Over the weekend, China's military has been simulating attacks on the self-ruled island of Taiwan. Now, this comes after a meeting between the Taiwanese president, Tsai Ing-wen, and the U.S. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy in California last week. Those tensions come as the International Monetary Fund has warned of severe weakness in the global economy over the next half a decade. The fund says its outlook for global economic growth for the next five years is the weakest in a while. Well, earlier I spoke with Peter Maguire, the chief executive of XM Australia. and He told me situations like these are when investors may look to rebalance their portfolios. Well, they look at escalation.